Okay, so now I'm going to do a quick video on a tool that I've created to automatically generate TADS projects uh, for ADV3 and ADV3 Lite for both the text and web applications. Now the reason that I did that is because if you're using Mac or Linux, you only have the command line tools. You don't have access to an IDE to automatically generate the project files for you. So that means that you manually have to copy template files and rename the directories and source files and change things within it. And it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do. And I thought I'd create a nice automated way to do it. The same as if you're using an IDE. So I've actually uploaded this onto, um, onto NPM. So you can automatically easily install it and use it on any computer. Um, I've also created this uh, anthonyowen.com forward slash generator dash tads, which will have this updated video and it has some basic instructions there as well and anything else that I might decide to add. Now, enough of that. Uh, let's get into a demo. So here I have a TADS demo directory. I've got an extensions directory that just has the ADV3 Lite library in there. Um, so I'm just going to bring up a command prompt. Uh, that little tool there for Mac users is called GoToShell, which is very handy if you use the command line a lot. Um, so I'm just going to make two directories called ADV3 uh, and ADV3 Lite. You know, ADV3. Then um, so once I'm in the, the project directory, I'll go yo tads and you see that I get the tool come up asking me what type of project I want. I want an ADV3 application and it defaults to the project name. Now don't use space characters because if you do um, it's just not going to be as nice for using command line tools like frob and t3make and stuff like that. Um, so the author's name, this is the first time I've, I've run it, so I need to type my name, Anthony Owen, my email, Anthony at Anthony Owen. So after an update, you have to do this. So I'm just going to call it test adventure, test, test. This bit here um, is for the IFID. It's telling the user that it needs to be unique for each game, the same way that an ISBN number is unique for each book, and it gives you the URL to get that. But because this is a demo, I don't care about that. And then there's an extension path for third-party libraries, which is only used for ADV3 Lite. So you can see here that it's gone and it's created all of the files, including a make file for creating a web version and a make file for just creating a normal text version. I'll quickly create the ADV3 Lite version as well. So go yo tads. Um, again, it's defaulted to the project directory and you can see that it's remembered my name. So after you run it the first time, it will remember those details, which is quite nice. Again, for a demo, I don't care about the IFID and the extensions parts for ADV3 is, um, 3D Lite is important. So if you have like a global path, like, um, users username library tads for example you could do that with no trailing slash and it, and it would remember it would use that path instead of the default so it's really up to you what you want to do and it should remember that path as well um, but dot dot extensions and then you can see it's created the directory so I'll quickly um, show you the source so let's uh, open up a directory, for Tad's demo, I'll do ADV3 Lite first, let's show you that. Um, so if we go to the make file, so for the standard make file, you can see that um, it's linking to the source file, it's linking to the ADV3 library system. Um, up here it's giving you a little hint on if you if you do t3 make ampersand ampersand frob adv3 then it will run and it will only load the interpreter if there's no compile errors because i added the flag dash we so treat warnings as errors that's something that i added um, the t3 um, make file for the web version 
you can see that down the bottom again it's got the source file um, for the library it's using the adv3 web it adds the tadsnet and the web ui um, it's, it's got an output file though so i'm designating the output file to be adv3 dash web so project name dash web dot t3 and then up here because this is easy to forget this bit here um, i'd give you the command to run um, in the in the interpreter which um, is going to be handy for people that um, that may forget it um, but I guess I'll quickly show you um, actually I'll show you the, the ADV3 light and then we'll, we'll run it up and show you what it looks like when you open it so we're going to ADV3 light um, so if I look at the standard make file again you can see that it's linking to the ADV3 light library it's linking to the source file again I've got this little note in here to, to help people know a quick and easy way to to compile and run it in the interpreter if it's successful without any errors or warnings for the web make file you see there's linking to the adv3 light web library it's got the tadsnet the web ui again I'm specifying the output file to be the project name dash web dot t3 and again, I've got this nice little friendly message in here to basically tell us how to run the web version. So if I run the interpreter, oh, I haven't compiled for this. Okay. All right, so let's compile it. Uh, so we go T3 make, and if that's successful, I'll run T3 make dash F. Um, make file dash web and first compile is successful second compile is successful so you can see I've got adv3 light dot t3 adv3 light web dot t3 um, now if I run the interpreter you can see here that it's got um, the link if I press command click it'll follow that link so it comes up in a web browser you can see it's running in the web um, and I can go like I can type look um, there's nothing really to do because there's no exits like if I go north you can't go that way so you can see that it's running in the web version quite nicely and whoops that's right I did it from the editor uh, so if I kill that I can go frob adv3 light and again it runs in the editor and obviously it does that for the ADV3 but I'm not going to demo the same thing again but you can see that it's working quite nicely um, for both ADV3 and ADV3 Lite projects for both the text version and the web version it's a very um, friendly easy way to create your project so it basically means that you can be a first-class citizen on any operating system you don't need a Windows IDE to generate your project files anymore so I'm um, hoping that the TADS community enjoys this tool. All right, enjoy.